and welcome. It's Jelly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in sunny Australia wishing you all um, a wonderful holiday season. Enjoy, stay safe. Um, if you can't party then you must create. But yeah, just do something that gives you joy and that's why I am here today doing what gives me joy, being in my art room um doing my art my family give me joy uh, my my fur babies give me joy and uh, just being here creating and and the lovely comments that i receive from you guys are just so uplifting and i'm just so happy i'm truly um very very lucky to be able to be doing this at my time in life at any time in life but just doing something that i really enjoy right i'm going to get into it and i'm going to do something bright and colorful um i've got all these yummy colors that i've had made up over the week and done different kind of pours with them i'm probably not going to use every one of those colors even though they would absolutely all look delicious together maybe i will maybe i will so i'll just get into it and i'll explain as i go along um just got a bit of something happening with my paint there but yes i'm not sure if i should do flip cups with those maybe i should oh benny son. hey 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 shh, 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 shh. it's my puppy dog having a little fit there so I might do flip cups today with these bright colours and see what what kind of outcome I get from it. So shall I just do it folks, I'll just go there. Righty, I've got some gold that I need to get out of this very flimsy paper cup. So I will start off with some gold. That's it's very quite runny this gold so probably not the best for a flip cup because you you kind of better off keeping your um, flip cups a little bit thicker now this is oh it's like a it's not my berry delicious because that's my berry delicious so this is more crimson crimson it, it's gorgeous and I did make it with crimson just a blob of black um, and that's actually all it was. It was crimson with a bob of black. I didn't add no phalo blue to this one. So it sort of kind of looks almost brownish, but it's definitely uh, crimson-ish. So I'll pour a bit of that in there. It goes lovely with gold. It really does. Just done a previous pour with gold and bronze and their colours go deliciously. This is just your everyday orange. A nice bright orange. Wowzers, trousers. Okay, let's get to this. So yes, um, Christmas Day, I mean, I know not everybody celebrates Christmas and I know that lots of people don't have anybody. Ooh. <coughs> Don't worry about it. Anybody to celebrate with. So um, there will be a pour on Christmas Day. I will do a pour for Christmas Day for the people that are not celebrating or at home alone. I will be with you on that day, people. I will be here for you. Um, and I don't know if you remember that I'm wait. We are all waiting, but nobody's waiting more excitedly than I am. For the birth of our um, sons and daughter-in-law, Karina and Stephen, um, their first child, just a, such a special time. They, now, we do know it's going to be a girl, but they're not telling us any names, so um, it's exciting. I'm just absolutely can't wait to meet this little darling baby. I will absolutely in the new year, if I get permission of Stephen and Karina, to post some photos of our little cherub. So I'm so excited about that. So excited. 
We have got other grandchildren and each and every grandchild was met with just as ex and much excitement, truly. Rightio, I'm going to throw some more colour in that mix. I'll go into this orangey yellow. Oh, it's a real bright yellow. This was the Amsterdam yellow that I'd mixed earlier in the week. The pouring medium will be in the drop down box, but truly these are all from different pour leftovers from all different pours. So some of them are different, they're all different consistencies. Some are thicker, some are thinner. So this may just end up one big soup. Um, yeah, so I'm just, just, just going with it, people. Just fly by the seat of your pants and go with it. It's a lovely crimson in there. So I just know it looks gorgeous. Just don't want it. I suppose I don't want it to come out too dark. So I'll add some more of the. Uh, it's just a cream can't even think where I got this one from if I uh, mixed white and then you mix a little bit tiniest little bit of orange and a little bit of brown kind of send it a creamy color it's good trying to have a go and mix your own um, colors up I might throw something right in the mix here and put some um, I definitely think this will look good with it. It's the, uh, oh my goodness, turquoise. Turquoise. One of my favourites. Oh, that, I love colour. I just absolutely love colour. As if you hadn't have no, noticed by now. Just love it. all good I think I think I think I'll just throw a bit of the I've got some um, metallic silver here so it's still keeping with those lovely it'll still keep beautiful I'm just not sure because like I said with the different densities of the paint some thick some thin they may gel nicely may play nice together and they may not but in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's try them all. And let's do it. Wow, 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 wow. Come back, come back. I'm not going to add it. I was going to add white, but I'm not going to. I'll just add a bit more. Uh, no, I'm going to save that navy for the, in case I want to put some. I'll show you when I'm going through it. Got something in my head, whether it will work or not haven't got a clue but I haven't never tried a flip cut pour with my RC card slides not sure if I'm gonna do it but I've tried flip cut pour with the um, Dutch pour I've tried a flip uh, I've tried the Aussie slides with a Dutch pour I've tried an Aussie slides with my balloon kissing I've tried Aussie slides on negative space so it might be the go let's just see Okay, do let's do this thing. None of these paints have got silicon in. Instead of silicon, I've put Floetrol. So the the recipe's in the drop down box, so it won't be won't be nothing too difficult to mimic if you want to. But this the colour of that crimson, the yellow the gold and even bronze and that cream beautiful just did a painting right there and I'm not sure if I should show you because I might post this one before I post that one but anyway so what I'm going to do with this little bit of navy that I've got I'm going to pour it in between as a little bit of a separator No rhyme or reason, just because a brain just said do it. I'm 
Okey doke. Right, let's do this thing. So you're doing a flip cup. I know that I used to feel so stressed when I very first started. How am I going to do this? What? Just slow yourself down. Just think about it, that it is really only paint and you don't have to stress about it. So it's just drag it down real quick, but sort of mindful. Some left in that cup there. Oh, isn't that un re strange? They were all layered basically the same, but look the colours what have shown up. Ooh, um, yeah, I just always find that so strange. Now why didn't the turquoise show up in that one? Very strange. I've got some left here, so I'm going to do me flip and lip. I think it was the lovely Karen Dernish that that coined the phrase of flipping and lipping. I think so. I know that it's all been done before. Absolutely. But I think I heard it from the lovely Karen Dernish. Dernish, if I've said that wrong, so sorry. It's my crazy accent. Not that I've got an accent, but that is flipping, flipping, flipping cup, flipping cups gorgeous. No silicon in any of these today, but look at the popperoonies popping up and the colours are absolutely to die for. And there you go, they were all colours from different pours I've done throughout the week. And then I've mi miss missed and matched. <laughs> I've missed and matched, <laughs> not mixed and match. Um, but anyway, I should keep my big mouth shut till I see what I actually get at the end of this craziness. Now, just nice and relaxed. Don't go rushing nice and easy just tilting the canvas from side to side all the way down till you you know you're spreading your paint evenly and covering your edges but don't go crazy and just try and tilt it right over the edge straight away there's no race oh this is just beautiful beautiful i'm just so amazed that that one came out the dark that is strange. I haven't torched it yet, so. Oh, I've got a big globule there. Don't worry about that. I'll get rid of that. Just take it nice and slow, walk it down the canvas. Where I've put that um, metallic silver, I can see that it's splitting. So it's obviously the metallic silver doesn't actually go with, you know, it's not gelling well with something that I've got in the paint because it's causing it to split. But that's all right because even splits can look very attractive. Get it right over to this corner. There you go. Beautiful. Wowzers, trousers. It's a beauty. That it is a beauty. I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh, you have to be excited for yourself when there's nobody else in the room and you're talking away to yourself. Oh my goodness, that is a stunner. Love it. Let me get some ink on this. I'm wondering if I was going to use my heat embossing tool, but I'm going to bring out the big guns. I, I'm, I'm not so keen on using this anymore, but I haven't used it for a while and I just want to see if I can bring anything up in it when there's only Floetrol in there and no silicone. So I'm going to give it a go because this is a big scary one. If you're not used to the butane, please don't use it, use the heat embossing gun. Oh, look at that. It's 
that's all I'm gonna do. I don't wanna yep. move my gear out the way. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely perfectly gorgeous just as it is. It's really lovely. But does one want to try the Aussie slide through it? I will give that a think. I'll give that a think. Okie doke. I've come back and I know I'm going to get so many people saying, what did you do? What? So anyway, I want to do some Aussie card slides. So it's just this is Amsterdam paint with only Floetrol. I just dip a card in it. Nothing secretive, nothing um, yeah, that only I can do. Everybody can do it. I share everything with you guys, so there you go. I know it's got enough going in on it, but I just wanted to try this because I've done the Aussie card slide with nearly every different technique. So I wanted to try it with this. And there you go. I love it. Oh, I've got to bring you in close to see these. Now I'm going to really pick up the ante. <laughs> Beautiful. It just gives a real 3D super duper effect and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So there you go guys that's it I will give that one that's enough for that one I'm going to bring you in and give you a um, close-up and I just thank you so much for joining me I'm very happy that you do and until tomorrow I'm here every single day please stay safe people enjoy your time whether you're with family or or, or, or alone just do something that gives you joy and, and for me it's definitely creating art. Love it, love it. So yeah, stay safe and create cellmates. Bye for now.